Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for stopping by. I really do appreciate it so very much. I have a Sephora haul today and I'm very excited about it because I finally did redeem my points for something larger. This is what it came in. This is one of the 1000 point perks. Um, so it's a nice heavy box. It's not like the 500 point ones at all. Um, and then it has this little card with it. A reward like this calls for a celebration and we want to see it. Um, snap and share using Sephora rewards, um, hashtag Sephora rewards. Um, and then the polka dot paper inside is really cute. And then all of that for this little tiny perfume bottle. I was kind of hoping it would be bigger than this. This is one of the at Atelier colognes. Um, I'll hold it up so you can see. And it came in a leather case, so it's a little extra. This scent is, it says Endless Love on it. But the actual scent is the Cafe Tuberosa. And it's a little spicy of a scent. Um, I, so that is what I redeemed for because this was a thousand points. And they never have any of the larger point perks when I get on. Um, I am not on the East Coast. So when they have their point rewards that open at 9 a.m., that's way too early to get up to see what they have. Um, so that was the first thing I got. And then I bought some skincare. I got this set of four cleansers from Peter Thomas Roth. This is the Cleanser Squad. So you get, this was 32 for the set. You get their original anti-aging cleansing gel. Then this is the one I'm excited to try. It's the 3% gly glycolic solutions cleanser. So I'm hoping that will help with my acne. That's why I have like this weird shadow and going on there. It's been there for like two weeks. It's awful. It just won't go away. Um, then an Irish More Mud cleanser, which I love. That's like my favorite mask. Um, so I'm really excited to try that. And then my other favorite mask is the Royal Stem Cell Mask. So I have the cleanser for that too. Um, so I'm excited to try all of those cleansers. And I haven't tried them yet. I got this actually back when they were doing the extra points for skincare. And I just haven't gotten around to to filming this video and then I picked up this is the Peter Thomas Roth discovery acne discovery kit so I get another bottle of the glycolics solution and then two of these max complexion pads correction pads but what I was most excited about because I'm running low on them and I didn't want to invest in an entire new pack of them and I actually think this is cheaper to get it this way is the acne clear invisible dots and this pack was fifteen dollars and the final thing i picked up for skincare was the skincare favorites this is the combo skin care routine and in here it's kind of a mess how they designed it i don't know why they designed it this way um i have three of the dr dennis gross gross alpha beta strength peels then you have from sun sun and park a beauty water which i'm assuming is just like a toner then a fresh soy face cleanser which this is not my favorite cleanser so i am going to pass that on but i like i liked everything else that's why um the thing that i was most excited about is the good genes the lactic acid treatment from sunday riley this is such a good treatment i really enjoy it i use it quite a bit um definitely one of my favorites then I talked about this in a sample Saturday series not too long ago it is the Tatcha um, the water cream and this is just a little sample of it let's see if I can get it open so you can kind of see um, it's just a nice um, clean or not cleanser moisturizer that's not overly heavy and then a glam glow this is the uh, clearing treatment super mud which is a really good um, mask. I can't think of words today, oh my gosh. And it, it does sting. When you put it on, it will sting. So be forewarned about that. Then I picked up one of the Weekly Wows. This is the Lancome Glow Subtle. And this is in the shade Rose Gold Lights. And I got this because I got another one of these in their highlighter kit in 2016 for the holidays 
and I loved it so much so I wanted to get another one and this was there's two shades left and the other one was way too dark this is still a little dark for me um, as you can see but if you blend it out I feel like I can still kind of get away with it whereas the other one would not have blended in whatsoever with my skin so I was very excited to get that I also picked up a vice lipstick this is one of the ones that was on sale this is the shade unicorn which cracks me up because I don't know what about it is unicorny because it's just it's a peachy color and we'll swatch that one right next to it see just a nice peachy color but I really do like Urban Decay Spice Lipsticks and this is a comfort matte then we I got one of these this is the Lancome Absolute Rouge Gold Wonders this is their holiday lipsticks and I got the hot pink one at Dillard's but this one was this for exclusive this is what the packaging looks like it is so beautiful I love it and then it's crazy because it took me forever to figure out how to open it you push the button on the top you open it and it's just this beautiful um, nudie mob it is called I have no idea how to pronounce that word Piot Etre um, I'm going to swatch it. It's just like such a perfect color for everyday wear. I've worn it a few times and I love it so very much. Kind of continuing on the lipstick trend, I picked up the Give Me Some Nude Lip package and I haven't even opened this. It is still taped. So let me untape it really fast. I picked this up when I went to exchange the next item that I'm going to talk about because I had a broken product in it. And they had this one out and I was like, oh, I'm gonna do it. So that's what it looks like inside. This was really hard because they had the wrong shades listed on the website for the longest time. So this is Sugar by Buxom. And it's one of their glosses. It's really, really sheer, um, good, universal, everyday. You can just throw it on over anything. Then we have in the Tarte's lip paint. It's a quick dry lip paint in Exposed. I don't think I have this shade. I have several of these. I am trying. Oh, that's a pretty color. My goal is to um, actually pan these in 2018, all of the small ones I have, because while I love these, all of them, for some reason, even though they're stored like this, they get oil all over them and dupe that was talking about it too and how they don't like that formula because of it and I don't know why why the packaging does that then from NARS orgasm is their shade and this is a really really light lipstick shade so if you want the no makeup makeup look that is definitely a plus for that then from our our the hourglass um, this is Futurist. Swatch this one down here. Nice nudie. This one has more of a sheen to it, which isn't being picked up quite yet because the other ones are still wet. Then we have the full size in this set is from Vice um, Urban Decay. This is the special effects topper in the shade Fever. And it's supposed to transform lip shades. So that is very, very glittery. I'll have to try that one out, maybe for the next video that I'm going to be filming today. And then the final one in here is from Smashbox. I wonder if it says what the shade is. It doesn't, so I will um, try to put it here on the screen. And it's one of their, um, non-matte formulas so that is that set right there those six shades i had to wipe off all the swatches the next thing i got was the give me some nude lip or new lip sorry new lip this was a set i think you can only get it online now um but i got this while i wasn't over the christmas uh holiday when i, I didn't get a chance to film anything and unfortunately, the first thing in here that I bought it for 
I wore it like three times and then the thing broke and I couldn't get it out of the container and so I had to go and exchange it. It is the Marc Jacobs, um, what are these called? The Liquid Lip Crayon in Night Moths and this is so pretty, I love it, but you have to be really careful. I would not keep this in your purse. This is not a traveling lipstick by any means because when I had it in there, it um, broke and then, just dropped the cap. And then the this whole thing came out and was in the cap and it was absolutely awful. I couldn't get it out. So that is what it looks like swatched. It is such a beautiful color. Then you have from Tristique. This is a mini plumping lip balm, which is a little awkward because it is kind of like the EOS, but it's tinted. Um, but it's a pretty tinted lips balm. It's going to be called a lipstick. It's not a lipstick. Then you get from Fenty Beauty, this is Candy Venom in the Matte Moselle lipsticks. There you go, you can see. And then it does have it on the little lipstick, the FB. It is a really pretty bright pink color. I did try out all of them before I had to exchange it, so I really like that. One of my favorites in the kit though is the Huda Beauty. This is the color Snobby. I love her um, lip strobes so much. And this one, oh my gosh. I wish it would pick it up even more. It is so it, incandescent. It's so pretty. Um, it looks so much prettier on my hand than you can see in um, the viewfinder, unfortunately. Then the last thing in this set is from Smashbox. This is in the shade, this is a metallic uh, matte, and it is Exo Vlada. And even though this is not the shade that I normally would wear, it is really pretty. It's a coppery color. So I picked up all of those. And then the next thing I got from Sephora, this has actually been several orders from Sephora because I kind of, they've been sitting in their drawer. Um, is from Make It Forever. This is the Artist 3 palette, and I really wanted this when they first went on sale, but they didn't have them in stock. They sold out really fast, so I finally got it when it came back in stock. I have two and four. I don't really like one because I'm not a big fan of browns. I just, I don't really wear that much. I've been trying to use my um, Clay Play palette, and that was a mistake to buy it because I'm just like, I hate I just like, I like color, so that is me. And this one definitely doesn't disappoint. It has beautiful colors. I have not swatched it yet, um, so I'm very excited to do it. I'm going to swatch that center color, the peach, and we'll do the turquoise next to it, the yellowy color, and then we'll do the dark purple. Oh, so pretty. Wow. So that is those, the, that is four of those colors. Let's see if I can get the other ones swatched really fast because that is quite impressive. I am very happy so far. So we'll do the light purple, the champagne, the pearl, and the light purple. And I guess the I feel like I'm missing a color. Ooh, that one's really pretty. I like that one. Champagne doesn't really show up, neither does. Oh, you can still see them. They look very light on my skin. I did the purple twice. That's why I have two left. Silly me. We're going to erase that one. It doesn't really want to erase very easily. So that's really impressive, too. All right, so the two that I didn't swatch are up here. Those two. There you go. Oh my gosh. I am really happy. I'm, I can't wait to play with that. That's probably what I'm gonna play with tomorrow on my eyes because I need some springy colors because right now there's nothing but snow. That's all I can see in front of me is snow. And that's why my I might be look a little more pale because there's more light being reflected back. All right, what else I got from Sephora are uh, 
beauty offers. So they had the buy, you get to pick two samples. So I got from Verb, these are hydrating shampoo and conditioner. Look at how tiny they are. Especially compared to from Ren, I got, this is the Ready Steady Glow Daily AHA Tonic. Hopefully you can see that. So I picked up those two, those came together. Then I got from Cover FX, this is a glitter drop in the shade Mirage, which is the whitey color. We'll swatch that really fast because that's really pretty. So that is what it looks like when you put it on the skin and you blend it out. You can see how far that blended. I could probably keep blending if I wanted to. Then I picked up from Too Faced. This is the Prime and Peachy Primer. I love this primer. Um, that has become like my holy grail primer actually with um, the Peach Foundation. I love those two together so much. Then I had a just Dior Skin Forever Undercover. This is a foundation sample in the shade Ivory. I am excited to try that. And then all of my extra samples I got from Josie Marin. This is the Vibrancy uh, Foundation. Then from Bite, the Multi Sticks. A couple of perfume sampler packs, which are it's interesting. Guerlain, this is a sheer makeup. We'll see if that works. Two of these, these are from Oli Heinrichsen. It's a three-step um, cleanser, scrub, and hydrator. Then we have white tea from Elizabeth Arden, which I actually don't really like. So some of these will be going in my pass-on pile. I'm actually gonna be sending some samples to a friend. Supergoop sunscreen. Um, Impor Emporio Armani, there we go. Um, Stronger With You, this is a man's clone. Then from Drunk Elephant, this is a Proteiny pe Polypeptide Cream. I'm assuming that's a moisturizer. Greek Yogurt Fit Foaming Cream Cleanser from Quora's. I really like this. This is one of my favorite cleansers now. Um, well, the samples I got from Briogeo, Don't Despair Repair, and then finally, Gentleman Givenchy. So lots of samples to add to my Sample Saturday series. If you haven't watched that, um, I will leave a link down below so that you can check that series out as well. I hope you are having a fantastic day. If you haven't subscribed already, if you would, wouldn't mind hitting that subscribe button, it would mean so very much to me. Let me know what you have gotten lately that is interesting or things that you think I should pick up. I hope um, that you leave me a comment and I'll talk to you guys next time. Bye.